Vanessa L. Williams, that's the person that made me want to be a pageant queen. Vanessa L. Williams, you know, boy, she won it fair and square. And when she won, she didn't just win for herself. She won for every black girl, every black woman who ever thought or dreamed about wearing a crown and being in the pageant. So, it was so disappointing and hurt to my heart when she had to give up her crown, when she resigned because of something in her past that she did when she was young, working as a photography assistant, probably trying to further her career. And they handled the scandal so bad. I mean, they put it all on the TV and the pictures and I remember coming home from school and being on the news with her resigning publicly and giving up her crown. And when I saw this, it kind of, it really hurt. It hurt my feelings because I was like, what? Why? Why can't she be still Miss Black? Uh, Miss Black, Miss America, why? You know, but I know why. Because see... When you're in pageantry, you cannot, you have to have a clean image. You can't have anything like that in your past. Uh, you know, you just can't, you can't have a scandal. And the thing of it is, whoever had these pictures, see, that's just how things do. Wait till you become a success to try to snack, snatch the rug off from under your feet. You know, they want to take those pictures and they want to profit. And I'm thinking the pictures eventually did get, get out. So, I mean... I think they eventually did sell those those pictures to Penthouse and Playboy magazine or whatever they did. And so, um, really, I mean, everywhere she probably turned, she saw the pictures and people knew what happened. So, I mean, how really can a regular person recover from that? You know, but, you know, and I always wonder, dang, you know, I wonder what Vanessa Williams up to. I wonder what she was doing when she was gone. But baby, when Vanessa Williams came back in 86 and was doing her thing with that hit single, The Right Stuff, I don't want to miss out on The Right Stuff, she was tearing it up. That whole album was good. Then she did another song that I remember that she did in 92, uh, I Got Work To Do. That was a remake. So she did a song with Brian McKnight. She had several successful albums and she went on. She did Soul Food and she did many movies. And she got her, you know, her accolades and being an actress. But there are some people that do not know her story. Know where she come from, Miss New York, from the Bronx. Don't know, they only know her as the actress. They don't know that she was the first black Miss America. So anyway, you know, I talked about three or four amazing queens. Because see, that's the thing about queens. We don't stop. You know, we will not be defeated. Okay? And that's why we're queens. You see, queens are not defeated. We don't defeat, we don't be defeated, we reign. Baby, those ladies reign. So if you don't know their stories, get to know their stories. Get to know Yolanda Gold. Get to know Michelle Anderson. Get to know Tanya Hill. Get to know Vanessa L. Williams. Read their stories. Get to know them. Know them for yourself. And that's it. That's all I got to say. But those are some amazing, awesome, awesome, excuse me, inspiring women with some, boy, with some awesome testimonies. So, like I said again, get to know them.